Hey man, this is Robbie. I'm in a truck. Um, I'm about to head out to Sportsland Sugo. There's going to be an event that Sugo is holding. It's going to be a car show. FD Japan is going to be, they're going to have a booth there and there's going to be a couple of cars that's going to do a demo. So I am hitting out there today with Hibino. <laughs> Yo, and check this out, man. This is cool. There's no clutch pedal, but it's manual. That's pretty dope. So let's head out. Shabats! Yeah. So that was about yeah, five hour drive up here to Sugo. As you see all the uh, raindrops on the windshield, um, it's raining right now. So we're waiting for the rest of the crew to get here so we can get set up today. All we're gonna do is park the cars inside. The event is actually tomorrow morning. So we're just here early um, to bring the cars inside and the trucks inside so we can get everything ready. But man, this thing was a beast, it was fun to drive. This thing only has like 6,800 kilometers on it. So, slow as hell though, it doesn't want to go up hills. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's like lacking in power, but you know, we got here safe. Well, I'm glad it's only set up. Just parking the cars out here today, but yeah, uh, I think they had some kind of uh, K car race event or something. So we are going over where we're parking the, the merchandise truck. There is the Liberty Walk 4 Rotor S15 that's in here too. I think we're going to be parked around here today and they're talking about where we're going to put what. All right, I'm in the pits here. There's a lot of people out. It's kind of wet today, but we got the LB S15 with the 4 Rotor twin turbo in it. And we have two cars that are owned by uh, Andrew Gray. And this is his championship JZX 100. And here is an S15 with a 2J in it. Um, so we and will be driving this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sneak this GoPro in um, the S15 owned by this dude, Mr. Kazama from Kazama Auto. And the driver here is Suenaga. Hello. <laughs>
後の車はどうでしたいやもう最高ですよ最高だって、はい、え車最高だったあ,ありがとうございます<笑>何それどうですレクセスです。There's more crowns. 
Excelsior, crowns. Dude, yeah, crowns are fave up here too. These big sedans, and as you noticed, most of the sedans here, it's either silver, black, or white, and that's a very subtle color. Well, here's a BMW. It's a very subtle color to have. I got Lexus, got an Aristo, and this must be, it's an Infinity, I think. And yo, this is sick. Older Mercedes, early 90s Mercedes. It was like the big gangster mobile, but man, this is pretty badass. That's cool. They got Honda Odyssey, Lexus CT. I think that's a Honda Odyssey too. I don't know what this is. This is a this is something. I'm not sure. LS. I'm gonna stop naming the cars because I can't just find one. But yeah, there's a whole crap load of cars. And walk around, look at that. The stereo system in the back of that K car. All right, Team Fuga. Fuga. This one slammed. Lexus over here and look at check this out this is uh you see a Celsior it's got the fabulous kit and it's got some molded fenders dude check out the fenders and check out the lip okay look at the fender on the back right here super wide and look at the lip on this wheel it's incredible interior is all nice too and now you got a slammed Celsior and you got an IS coupe convertible here and an Audi coupe convertible. I hope they didn't have the top down when it was raining earlier. Now there you go, man. Gangsta van. Sick. Got slammed Audi. Now, maybe I'm just old, but I don't even know how these guys manage to bring their cars in because they're all slammed. Like I said, maybe they're on air or something like that, but. This is pretty sick though, as you can see. I didn't get, I had to work at the start line when they did the drift demo, but the Sugo track, they come around over here. It's the first corner over there and down here. They're still doing some grip racing right now. All right, some more cars here for you Subi lovers, Subaru. This is my favorite at the show today, right here. Toyota Sentry sitting on 20 inch BBS. Man, I really, really, really want one of these. These are so damn cool. They're so awesome. It's gangsta as hell. Got the lace interior and everything. Man, this car got me thinking. This car got me really thinking. Now, I think that's an LS over there. And the Alford Vans. G37 Coupe. Fuga, Fuga Gang, right here. The Fuga Gang right there. Oh man. It's an LS. Or Alexa, maybe it's a GS, the newer one. Then you got an Aristo. Man, there's way too many people over there. I think they're calling out the winners of the show. Check out this 350Z. It's purple. Damn, man, that's a pretty nice uh, BMW, too. On the windshield, it says Red Impact, but yes, so much impact. Because number one, the car's sitting on the ground. Number two, it's got these crazy fins, as you can see, on the hood. And the fender is just super wide. And the back, look at this, check this out, man. Talk about aerodynamics, because Air comes up here and gets caught here. This is a rear door. And dude, the interior of this thing is crazy. It's got orange and all kinds of stuff. Full stereo system in the back. Check out how, how wide this thing is. Dude, look at the exhaust too. 
So I guess it is a Y32 single. Damn, this is crazy. Look at that. Look at this thing. It's just sitting on the ground. That's crazy. And check out the dish or some more cars. Look at this. Man, this thing is nice. I mean, it's a very, very small car, but you know, the full interior, it's like super clean. This is sick. They did everything. All blue and white. Really nice. I don't even know what K car this is, but it's a K car. Slammed. Now we got Honda Odyssey. And this is a Toyota, or this must be, I think it's like a Prius or something like that. More vans. And of course, bam, tailpipes. No crazy uh, Takeyati exhaust here, but here you go. For those of you who like the old school stuff, the older stuff, I guess. <laughs> Celsior. And I was actually, that was actually a JZX 100 Mark II with the pipes. And Estima vans. I know they don't have these. Uh, this is a front wheel drive Estima van um, after the TCR model, I think. Now it looks like an LS, like Celis. And we got a crown right here. Car looks good. Yo, and check this out Y32. Y32 SEMA. I know that's what it said on that red car, but this is a very different look because this one's more of a less flashier. So it's got some OZ racing wheels. It looks pretty nice. I mean, there's a lot of camber to fit these deep dish wheels in this car, but car overall looks really really clean I like it and you know what I really like these cars and they're underrated this is a 1.5 crown I know they never came with like 1j turbos or 2j turbos but they have the 1j or 2j NAs there are some guys swapped this out to turbos or I seen that they have one with a v8 in it or uh, ITBs or something but this car looks really good because it's like in the middle of the uh, old school and the new school but also shares a lot of uh, parts with the JZX 100 chassis, so it's easy to uh, modify, make a cool drift car too. Crown, audio car, stereos. Okay, 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 okay. Now I, I, I had to look at this car because this car is very amazing. It's one of my favorite cars. I wish I had my hands on one of these, but fam, it's a R31 Skyline Coupe. This thing is dumped it looks like it has a five look swap done and it looks like it's got some big wheels but yo this car is sick and look at the quality of the stereo it's like stereo's done on the trunk very different style R31, but it's also a manual. The car looks really, really good. It's super clean. And also, if you could say it's a 7th Skyline because it is a 7th produced Skyline by Nissan. And also, this thing has an RB20 DETR. So what I would have, I'm guessing is it's got the stainless manifolds. So it must be, uh, maybe it's a real GTSR. These are the ones that uh, make more horsepower. It's got the nice uh, stainless steel headers and it sounds amazing at high RPMs, but man, this car is cool. I would love to hear this thing scream. All right, so there's more of the Euro hatches right here. That was a Golf, I think, Volkswagen. And right here too, Golf. I mean, there's another parking lot down there with uh, filled with stanced, uh, slammed cars over there. All right, 
everybody's favorite clean FD Civic Ferriel. It's a four door. Here's some Subarus, BMW, and the list just goes on and on and on. All right, so a very clean wide buddy 86. A very clean, nice C33 Laurel. And also a Toyota MR2. I don't see these so much at uh, car meets and stuff like that, but that's pretty cool. S14 and a bunch of these K cars. Maybe I need to get, well, I have one right now that I use just to get around, but maybe I'll get one and slam it too. But yeah, this is pretty cool. They're cute little cars, but you can do a lot of stuff to it. So they're actually cool to have. And the reason why a lot of these guys um, have K cars too is because number one, they probably like it. Number two, um, a lot of the times, like I have one um, as a daily because it's very uh, inexpensive to register with the road tax and all this other stuff, the whole nine yards. So, all right, so let me go ahead and check these out. All right, K car, K car. Look at that. Look at the camber on that car. A lot of K car. All right, so I wanted to check these out too. It's Liberty Walk. Um, this is Rothman's color. R35 GTR and right here I haven't actually seen um, the Liberty Walk body kit white body kit on the new Supras other than watching it online and stuff like that on our Instagram but here it is there's uh it's pretty wide but also looks really really sharp and this one's actually slammed to the ground so it looks really good awesome <laughs> A pretty cool event um and we have people here you guys gonna get something yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't feel pressured no. No, no, no well thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed it um that was a pretty cool event here at suko with the all genre uh, car show with the drifting event uh put together but i enjoyed it hope you guys did too don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe until i see you guys next time peace out